you're watching Gears. Brought to you by Holly Performance Products. Fuel your passion. And Cornwell Tools, the choice of professionals. You know, there is one thing that all gearheads have in common. We all pretty much start the same way. Usually building models or playing with die casts or Hot Wheels. And that gives way to our first project, which is usually some sort of a go-kart or a lawnmower or a motorcycle or a mini bike or a quad or whatever we can get our hands on. And then we spend our time and our money building some sort of a Frankenstein death trap. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You probably have the scars to prove it. The thing is, we love these kind of projects because they're fun and they're exciting and they're affordable and you can learn so much from this kind of project, both what to do and what not to do. And then if you want to, you can take that knowledge and springboard into a career as a restorer or a mechanic or a custom builder or a fabricator, all kinds of stuff. The problem is, a lot of people forget how cool and how fun these kind of projects can be. Or they don't know because they're new to the automotive world and they just never experienced it. So we're going to change that by taking some simple toolboxes and some motors and some junkyard parts and seeing if we can't build some toolboxes that you can drive. Okay, the idea for this project came from talking to Cornwell about their new platinum toolboxes. And they told me how strong the frames were. So I said it sounded strong enough to build a vehicle out of, and they said, well, why don't you? So I said, okay, and the toolboxer project was born. Okay, the criteria for these boxes is pretty simple. Number one, they have to move under their own power. Number two, we have to utilize as much of the stock frame as possible to support the vehicle because the frame is what these boxes are all about. Number three, we have to keep the box as functional as possible. So no gutting it, no just using the outer skin, no tube chassis stuff. No, it still has to be a functional toolbox when it's done. And number four, no new parts. Yeah, all the major components have to be used stuff that anybody can find on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or at a swap meet, just like these first projects we were talking about. 